Chilean's rock streams are always pog.
All right, everyone, thank you for waiting. Good morning, guys. We're gonna be doing a little Grifflands because I'm addicted to this game, and that's about it. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's nice to see y'all here. Real ones are showing up. I've uh, I've actually been playing a lot of Sal in my free time, just getting higher and higher ascensions. I've been saving the new characters for stream because I wanted to try these two out for the first time on stream. So it should be fun. We're gonna try out Rook. I've never looked at Rook, and it should be a fun mystery. We'll do the big job, and we don't need to change anything. Let's just get started. Yep, uh, level one seems pretty good. Swiftest Lazarus, thank you for the prime. Oh, I also had uh, Justin with a resub during the intro. Crete with five subs as well during the intro. Thank you all. You bear the brunt of the world when you wear E3 a sword E3 sucks ass right now. So you turn to I feel like it'd be more fun to just watch recaps the than the actual thing. But even out of uniform, your name still carries the weight of your medals. Right, let's Captain watch the story. Luke, the veteran, the hero, the saboteur, the spy. These days, you freelance, and you're on your way to a job in Grout Bog where the Spark Barons plumbed the ruins looking for forgotten treasures. The bugs are hard to spot, but they bleed you dry if you let them. Seems like you'll fit in just fine. All right. The land around the grout bog squelches with mud. And we're trying to get in to the bog. So we're met okay. by the guards on the outside. <laughs> uh, close unless you pay the fee. 20 shills? Or I could just do a negotiation fight. So for those who haven't seen this game, this is a double deck builder. It's an RPG, um, but it's also a deck builder. We're building two decks in the corner, one deck to fight people with and another deck to debate people with. You take a lot of jobs around a sort of bandit outlaw society and you kind of build a reputation and the overall goal is probably different for each character but for the first character Sal it was to kill this Casio chick so um, I'm not sure what the overall goal is here just yet uh, Matrix Firex thank you for the prime um, I'll stretch the legs later I could probably redeem that uh, there's got to be some way for like it not to be redeemed within the first hour of a stream because it's kind of pointless that early on anyways <laughs> let's do a little debate thing forgive so me for being skeptical of this fee I'd like to speak to your manager um I've already well hold on would you like to see a quick tutorial about their specific mechanics I should argument is his lucky coin Okay. Can gamble and oh, who coin. likes gambling? Each side of the coin has a special How do you feel effect? about the frog guy? Inspect I haven't played as him yet. Assuming the that's effects. the third character. Certain cards have different effects depending on which side of the coin is facing up. Either heads or snails. If a card gambles, the effect is determined by the outcome of flipping the coin. Nice. All right, so we're Throughout building a gambling story, deck. Rook will have opportunities oh, to geez. trade his coin for others, with different effects for each outcome. Finding a coin that synergizes with your deck is the key to winning. That's cool. I did not actually expect the mechanics to be that different from character to character, because this is nothing like the first character. What the hell? So, whenever it's green, I apply a composure, which is just the defense, and whenever it's red, I deal a damage to a random opponent's argument. It's heads and snails, is what they call that. Incredible. That's so good. There's a new Lego puzzle game called Builder's Journey coming up June 22nd. I'll look into it. I have a hard time believing it'll be a puzzle game, though. I feel like Lego games are usually adventures or that sort of stuff who knows um so let me see we're gonna flip my spare coin I got a composure a defense they're attacking for four I was already gonna play this to apply three defense so that was a bit of a waste we'll just try to deal max damage oh wait 
Is so it I'm if gonna... the coin is on heads? Oh, the coin is on heads, so it always applies max damage. But if I flip tails, then I wouldn't have been able to apply max damage there. So I need to look at this icon and use that to know what's going on. So a part of the debate thing is not just taking down the opponent's core argument, their resolve. They have like many side arguments as well that buff them. You could ignore them, but it's probably best to actually tackle them. Does look like a puzzle game. Super easy. Maybe be like super short then. Maybe be like a one episode kind of run through it sort of deal. So let's see. Um, oh, this, this guy stole some of my cards. And this gains a composure for every hostile. Oh, the dude gains a composure for every hostility card I draw. Um, here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna get him. So you should push it. And I'm going to call it in the air. Show me snails. Let's go. Because now we deal bonus damage. There we go. Got him. Oh, become vulnerable. I don't like that. Uh, let's just protect ourselves a little. Ow. Hurts a little bit. They keep stealing my cards. Straw man. When this argument is destroyed, gain three vulnerability. All right. Oh, vulnerability. God. Okay. That's great. Um, so here's how it's going to go then. I'm just going to hit this. For some reason, I've misunderstood vulnerability, but yeah, that makes sense now. Um, let's call it in the air. Show me heads. Let's go. Good at this shit. Let's keep ourselves. Actually, we can fully defend this argument. So I don't have to gain vulnerability. That's probably best. And then we'll do max damage here. Sweet. Ah, oh, we're chilling. It's not too bad. Keep yoinking my shit, but it's all right. We can wipe them out. Um, before I do that, what I want to do is actually... So the cards you play have XP on them, little bars underneath their names. The more you play it, the more they level up, and once they level up, they can become a lot more powerful. So it's always important to play your cards. All right. So you can rig an outcome. Rig two snails? So the next two outcomes are going to be snails. And then I get a hostility card. Or I could discard a card for free? Okay. Zorsti, thank you for the four months. How's everything going? It's going good. Playing a game I'm massively addicted to, having to chill time. Uh, for those who wanted a super hype stream, come tomorrow, I think, when Bloons Pop comes out. It's gonna be a shit show. I can't wait. I'll look up this LEGO Builder's Journey to see what the deal is. Like, if it's actually an official LEGO game, or if it's just, like, a game that's centered around LEGOs. Um, let's do the burn here. It, it could be two damage to everything. Seems pretty good. Do you want to get your manager involved? Alright, yeah, we got work papers. We hand him our work papers. He believes us. And now we have a job to do. We could... We could receive two things if we work security or digging. Hold on. So it'll tell us who we're reporting to depending on which job we take and what kind of free card we get. So take names. Oh, so this is a card that just gets stronger the more you play it or the more people you get it against. Cool. And then there's empty cells. What the hell are my empty cells? Right. Hold on. Charge? Empty cells. What the hell are empty? Okay. Um. I guess I'll find out. Yeah, I guess I have to zoom out to find out. I'm just trying to see if I can make sense of this at all right now. I can't really make sense. I'll just take this and we're here to dig. I've never dug before in my life, but I'm ready. 
to a Poshua. Get close. She's like the other one seemed pretty cool too. It seems like there's two, a, a lot of different ways you could build your decks around, and Suzette those would get me started on uh, very different ideas. Oh, and then I get a free perk before I really get into it. Amnesiator is weak. I could just add a Battlegraph slot. Upgrading a card isn't that important. These will upgrade all eventually. Yeah, these will upgrade eventually. This is a totally new deck for me, too. I'll have to read this all later. Let's just add a graph slot, I think. I have a lot of graphs, so but honestly, there's no such thing as too many graphs. Good these are permanent buffs that eventually will be filled in with Shell real things in. that will give us, like, large so permanent buffs with no real downside. Geothalpia. All right, so now we've made it to the wastelands. It's time to do some quests. We could talk to Calandra or Philemo. Let's see what is up with my pal Philemo. Gushel. Noodle Ulist? Noodle. Okay, <laughs> what a name that is. No workers allowed. I need to talk to Philemo. Come on. Okay, well, let's uh, let's deal some damage. Let's deal some damage. And let's save our ass. Griflands does support other languages. I mean, this is a... You know, very um, well-developed studio. They got a lot of languages. Uh, this person has the same type of arguments. Strange. Alright, let's um, call in the air. Show me heads. Let's go. Dude, my coin flipping skill is amazing. Um, let's hit this all business. I don't want, like that one. And then let's take it up top. Love the voices in this game. It's great. It's just pure nonsense. Um, I'm going to become vulnerable soon. I don't really care. These appropriated are quite annoying. So let's steal our max damage. Let's take our... Um, here's what I want to do. I want to call it in the air. We got heads. Or no, we got snails. Nice. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take it up top and I'm gonna protect my ass again. I'm gonna take a little bit of resolve damage though. And we should be able to wipe them out. Let's take our bonus damage. And show me heads. De got snails, but heads is a free damage. So that means we are guaranteed to get them. Very nice. All right, what now? Another burn? What about this? Prepared. A card is prepared if it's the most left card in your hand. And then apply one composure to a random friend in the argument every time you play a card. I mean, that's cool, but sometimes it's just going to be useless. Hmm. Free composure is not that bad, though. I bet this will be more often useful than it isn't. Also, are you sure that these characters aren't actually speaking German? Hmm... Could have fooled me. I'll try this jargon. I bet it might be decent. Anything where you get something for free is usually good, even though there's a bit of a um, circumstantial aspect to it. But you can kind of play in a way that'll make that card come to the left side of your hand. Hmm. What up, Flamo? What up, my brother, my homie, my pal? We could work for him. Working for your friend is always a little bit sketch. You know, friendships get ruined when there's money involved, but I don't actually see an option to say no, so I guess we're just doing it. Shootsona. All right, we got options for jobs. Let's see. So there's a negotiation battle, debate, 
We get 65 coins and this temporary card, or we get 70 coins and to upgrade a card if we do a battle one. So, so it's dead. simple. We take the more money. It's a shop Come on, tea. Excuse me. Remind Gnack of his place. Don't let him get out of this contract. Alright. We're gonna beat up some dude. Love your content. Keep up the good work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please read my name. No. Eat, eat my ass. How about that? But I'm glad you enjoy. Let's go find this Gnack. Beat him up. Just because he wants to leave a contract, that's fucked. Okay. But uh, morals are questionable here. There isn't such a thing as, like, true morality. People mm. tell me. Alright, what's your deal? Shul says, Seltakiaha. Shokapu. Alright, so it says like what'll happen if we take him on either way. He'll dislike me either way. I'm supposed to beat him up. I was asked to beat him up. It's just, I'm looking at my opponents as a two star and a one star. I thought I'd be doing like, you know, one stars. Ah, what the hell. Let's beat him up. Alright. Oh god, alright, battle tutorial, this is gonna be new to me. These weapons can be charged up. I could straight up lose here. state of the guns is shown by the charge meter. At the end of his turn, Rook gains one defense for every empty charge. Gotcha. Rook gains one charge at the start of every turn. Additionally, certain cards give charges while others spend charge for additional effect. Certain cards use the fully charged and empty keywords. These cards have special effects only when the charge meter is completely empty or completely full. Hmm. Gaining more charge while fully charged grants overcharge. <laughs> overcharge increases the maximum damage of all your cards. This is a Half cool mechanic. Your current overcharge is removed at the end of your turn. Thank you, tutorial lady. So I got one charge right now. At the end of your turn, gain one defense per empty cell. So this does eight right now. And it's actually not possible for me to spend or use a charge. So let's just start with that. This dude's attacking me. Um, let's start with the... Start with this laborer dude. We can get rid of him more easily, I think. Or more quickly. So let's take him out. We're only gonna take four. So I'll just simply attack him. Actually, no. We, we're just gonna fully defense. So we have natural defense built into our gun or something. Oh god, a knuckle. Well, aren't you a, a, annoying? This dude also has eight defense. I guess I'm redirecting to Gnack. Um, oh, this looks pretty bad. Should we do hair trigger then? Yeah, we're gonna take some bad damage here. Kinda wanna kick? That's expensive though. I don't know if I want charge. Wait. Why didn't it apply or spend a charge? I had a charge, right? Spend one charge, deal two bonus damage? Did I? I didn't deal two bonus damage. I had a charge. Why did I not? What? How do I spend a charge? Did I have two, maybe? Oh, wait. It's two to three as a card. Okay, no, no, we're chilling. We're chilling. Um. You know what? No defense, all offense. Let's go. Kick him in the shin. It feels like... I mean, unless I want to become overcharged, I think I'm better off if I simply... 
come on, I can't kick him down. Yeah, I'm gonna take so much damage. I might go crank though, so I can overcharge next turn at least. So we kick, and then charge and defense. We're gonna take a lot though. That's alright, we're resilient. Not a big deal, hopefully. Alright, this is finally gonna disappear. I'm overcharged, we got maximum extra damage. I will... Blast you, so you panic. So you're no longer attacking me. I'm only hit, 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 getting hit by a four from you. I think I'm just gonna kick him. I don't wanna see what's in the ammo pouch, I wanna see what's in this damage. I got some garbage cards added to my deck. Sure. I think that I might be able to get him. Well, it's possible. A bit more like... Oh, yeah, we definitely get there now. Uh, we do want him to surrender. We're not going to be completely brutal and kill him. We just want to remind him to stay in the contract. Because if he's dead, I mean, he's escaped from the contract. Duh. Apply to Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Um. Your wife's found two of her favorite games from my YouTube channel. Nice. Glad she's enjoying. Oh boy. Cannot stand a new McDonald's ad with streamers eating a chicken together. Just get ad block. Actually, I guess it doesn't uh, matter because Twitch is pretty good at getting around that. Well, you don't get ads uh, for streamers you're subscribed to. Du -du 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 -du. Uh, for real though, you actually actually don't. Um, it's a pain in the ass though. I know. Spend three overcharge. I'm not getting three overcharge. This card costs one more per other card in your hand. I'm gonna try this mark, I guess. No, this isn't even that good. None of these are good. Maybe the reserve round? But that's like if I get a bunch of overcharge. That's not what I want now. And this is gonna cost a ton. And this barely does anything. I need cards that do things yes, right now. Son. I'm not trying to do his synergy stuff. Metapuata, so can I share? You got me LMAO. I shouldn't have complained to you about the ads. <laughs> it's true. Thank you for the five months. Subscribing does actually remove ads for that channel. All right. Well, we did the job. The course. It's been dealt with. <laughs> Alright, and then we get to upgrade a card in either of our decks. What does Hair Trigger do when upgraded? Ooh. Well, I feel like Boosted Trigger is, at least right now, just strictly better than Enhanced Trigger. Not always, it might be better in the future. That, that could be pretty decent. Can't upgrade Shovel. What about kick? Can I make this cost like one? If it's empty, yeah. It was ricochet? I don't know. That, that's gonna level up eventually. Hair trigger though. That's that's a really good one. I wanna maybe level that up. Because my battle deck kinda sucks. Let's take the six bonus damage. Another job. Okay. 94 shills or and remove a card or 88 shills and restore some HP It seems pretty good because I'm below but it also seems bad because if I die during this well, I'm dead I'm sure I'll be fine But it's less money All right, let's try it I'm sorry. I should be reading these. I have the habit of just clicking no. 
Dogs are going feral, so we got to put these down. And they're preying on average men. All right, let's um stop the malfunctioning terra terrorist robo dogs. Be sure to salvage the core so we can run a diagnostic. Okay. Damn, find your own supplies. Can we maybe talk to vendors? We can buy some equipment so we don't die. Summon an auto dog to fight for you for the rest of the battle. That's pretty cool. While this is in your hand, gain a temporary power whenever you draw a card. This one actually seems like the best one, except I don't have card draw in my battle deck. Maybe I'll just do the auto auto dog, <laughs> auto dog, or I could like choose to not. I want to talk to the bartender. Is there a bartender here? There's a bartender a lot in the other place. Like I need to get some. Yeah, yeah. Go to here because we can heal up. Aerostat, if I had to guess. Here, I'll compliment you. Compliments are free. Ooh, can we trade coins? Alright. If we talk to him, we might be able to get a more interesting coin. Our current coin's not even that bad. Uh, we can also talk to the bartender. Where do you go? Is he this one? Let's see what the deal is. I could trade my current lucky coin with draw a card, discard a card, apply composure. Well, this is just strictly better. It's like the same thing, but more damage. And this is the same thing, but more composure. Um. I assume I can just keep trading and trading. Well, I don't assume that actually. I don't know if it's like one trade. And I'm sure it's multiple times. I might as well just get an upgrade to it. Literally doesn't hurt to just deal an extra damage. Cool. How's it going? Kid. Oh, Oh, I see. Bartender, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank the bartender. Oh, he's got a gift. A graft reward. There we go. Thank you. At the start of each turn, gain an overcharge. When you gain fully charged, gain two temporary power. Oh, that seems really good. Getting fully, char fully charged is not too bad. And... Oh, but it's only when you gain it. So it's only for that turn. Still not too bad. Although overcharge is every turn. So it increases max damage every turn. And this is just two damage every now and then. These are some good ones. I think maybe I'll do the overcharge then. Yeah, let's do it. Hatashu. Talk to the Jakes, maybe, if you want more services. Here, can you sell me a food? Like, I really need to heal up. That's why I came here. I need to spend 50 coins for a meal, and then I get a bloated card. But by God, I'm almost dead, so let's do it. Alright, now I can fight these dogs. What's this? Oh, there's a black market up there. I only have 105 coins. Let's stockpile a few more. All right. Can you gain the temporary power twice one turn? I don't see why not. It's pretty hard to do though. My deck can't do it right now. What's up, Wade? What are you doing here? Wade does not trust my guts. What the hell? 
Wade just starts to fight me? I could, like, convince her to not. Why not? It'll make the next thing easier. Yes, let's work in tandem. Plus, I want to check out the new coin. So, we got the... Oh, well, it hasn't flipped yet. Oh, I have two call it cards. All right, let's do this. Got heads. So now we deal bonus damage. And oh, this costs two. Ew. What is the deal? Propaganda cards? Prepare a card swap? It's cost with its... This card's cost. Oh, so if propaganda is my hand, we'd get some HP back. So I should just... Probably... I don't need to get rid of that. Because I just need to never have propaganda cards in my hand whenever random damage happens. So I don't see what the issue is here. We deal some damage. We try to hit a heads. Okay, or we just kill it accidentally. Cool. Uh, we defend. Eh, that's enough defense. Alright, so can we get this jargon here? Yeah, I guess so. Let's hit him. Hit him. And get a free composure. Alright, that's uh, not too bad. Good day. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm chilling. It's been, a, it's been a slow start today, but now I'm starting to figure all this out. Alright, let's see if we can get him right now. Oh, yeah. This will wipe him out for sure. This thing is expensive. Like, it does not feel good to pay two for three damage. But we can upgrade a card at least. Discard a card. What? Why is discarding a card so good? I don't want to discard cards. Well, actually, I can see a case where I'd want to discard a card. In the case that I have this, um, jargon in my hand, I would want to discard a card to the left, left of it. So that's not too bad. Uh, but then this one kind of sucks. Uh, if I want, if I like the card. This is either really good or really bad, because this th game has a thing where, uh, destroy mechanism. What would happen is that you play it once, and then it's just no longer in your deck, period. Not just for the rest of the fight, but for the entire rest of the campaign. And I realized that a little bit late in my first campaign, but I figured it out now. This is really good if I don't want this type of card. But I think I do, at least for a little bit, so I'm going to take the discard. I think it synergizes pretty well with me. Ooh, this card could cost zero. We could also gain influence. This is pretty good. Three to four. For one and an influence with its heads. Is that better than dig for zero? Wrong deck. Both are good. What kind of deck am I trying to go for? Maybe jargon deck? I kind of need more coin flip things if I can help it. Like, I need more ways to flip randomly. Or I could just have rigs, I guess. Yeah, I could rig it one way or another. Like, I could go snail hunt and dig. Snail hunt and dig as a combo. Jabber's not bad, though, either. Because um, influence makes um, all negotiation cards deal max damage. But if I have heads, they'll deal max damage anyway. So, ah, I don't know, man. Let's try Dig, I think. We took a hostility card before, so I'm taking so another so one now. Shut sure. Oh, 
Cosorta. Work with you only until Capisha. these dogs are in line. Cosorta. Let's go. They've made a den here. Wipe them out. But we need to preserve the cores. Alright, here they are, the Pharaoh Auto Dogs. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's a good thing I got an ally in this. And it's a good thing I healed up a little. There's four of them? Oh yeah, that's not too bad. We can wipe them out pretty easily. Let's attack the ones that are attacking me. I'm not dealing eight to ten. Oh, six bonus damage. That's already calculated. Oh, I could just wipe out um the two that are attacking me. The oh my god. Yep. One goes down, another gets replaced. Alright. You can take damage. I don't give a shit about you. Ooh. Alright, what's attacking me again? This one and that one. Alright, goodbye. And goodbye. I could attack another one, but I mean, it's fine. I think I'll just give myself some charge and defense. Like, he, he, we can just keep one shot on the base, like. Alright, we're almost done with the fight. This one's actually way easier than expected. I don't care about the status effect. All I care about is my HP. Mm. Alright, so odds of us wiping these out, or this one out, isn't the best. But it's possible. Let's uh, hope for it. Uh, now it's very unlikely. I'll just take the defense. <clears throat> Ooh, I just take a little bonus damage. That's not too bad. This one's already going to die. So I'll just wipe you out. And then, what card do I want to play to upgrade? Maybe I'll upgrade... Blast. That was an easy fight. If they have burn, I don't have that. Spend all charge, attack once for each charge. That's pretty good. Oh, and his upgrades are pretty sick, too. That's pretty good. Multi-attack, especially if you get extra power. Thanks for help, but the Rise needs those cores. Hand them over and your faith will go unnoticed. What the hell? I'm not going to give you all the cores. I don't give a shit if you'll end up liking me. Well, maybe. I mean, the cores aren't for me, so it's not like I really give a shit if I miss out on them. I wonder, but I'll probably have someone closer to me like me if I do give them the cores. Whoever I'm returning it to, my friend. Just deba debating on whether I want to debate or fight. Let's keep them all. Bakiashu, got to sit. All right, I'm taking eight. Good God. Okay. So again, I gain defense per charge thing. So I'm gonna do hunker down and then blast them. Six HP is not bad. Okay. Oh, we can just deal a ton of damage now. Let's do that one first, and then shovel, and then kick. We'll accept your surrender. I'm not trying to kill you. Ooh, kick could attack twice or ricochet. Uh, whenever this target takes damage from attack, deal that much damage to one of their allies and reduce ricochet by one. That's pretty good, too. Uh, double kick is pretty good though. It's 10 damage by default and 
I'm pretty sure with my setup, it's 12 damage by default. So it depends on what I care about more. Do you always get resolve if you win a combat battle? At this level, yes. But I saw there's like ascension levels, where it's just harder versions of each uh, campaign. There's a campaign where you, or a level where you don't gain resolve. It's only, it's pretty early. It's like ascension level two, when that happens. I'm going to double kick. I want to go for attack damage buffs, if possible, to make this as powerful as possible. Apply to Scorched. This is the game I got sponsored by, and now I'm addicted. I got one more sponsored video coming out for them, uh, but this is not at all sponsored. Uh, contracts for three videos. And then, I don't know, I'm not going to upload it anymore because not nobody's going to fucking watch it, but I'll keep streaming it. Hmm. I think I'm just going to decline. I don't think I want this. We don't need to heal up. Let's um, go back to Flamo. There you go. Detusha. Zambiasu. Chepokana. And now we can finally restore a little bit more HP. I guess I didn't need to buy the thing at the bar, but whatever. Chapilke. Mia. Chushashia. Should meet him at the watering hole to have a quiet conversation about future plans. What an odd fellow. At least he likes us. Uh, if you get people to more than like you, if you get them to love you, you also get permanent buffs. So that sort of thing would be nice eventually. Alright, we got limited time opportunities. This is a gambler. Applying his trade in the bo bog, so possibly coin upgrade, or a quiet clear eight. That seems like an HP up, or resolve up sort of thing. If it's like permanent resolve up, this could be pretty good though too. If I could get some max resolve, or I could gamble. I don't know, I'll try both eventually. I mean, I can't at this run, but so let's try the gambling one first. If we can get an even better coin, that'd be really cool. Nobody ever stops to talk to me. Poor guy. Alright, let's play the game. Ten shills to gamble. Keep your eye on the coin. <laughs> <laughs> Your practice eye tells you that the coin is weighted to come up heads. All right, well, thank you. Yes, you win. You're on a hot streak. You should go double or nothing. Technique is good, but not great. Heads. Snails. Heads. You can keep it up all day if you use your wrist properly. I've heard that one before. Just trying to make enough money to get back to Murder Bay. Oh, he's a weighted coin. It would come up heads 90% of the time. Well, what sucks is my deck is kind of leading towards snails. You have like a reverse of your coin. Or we could give them money and just have them love me. That seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, a free love? Or not even free, but 50 coin love is pretty cheap. I don't think I want the weighted coin, but let's, uh, let's do this. Don't think too hard about it or I'll change my mind. So what do we get? We get a 20 shield discount from shop cater keepers. That is going to pay massive dividends. Very nice.
What the hell is stepping in it? Got a quest? Oh, we're waiting for Flamo. I see. We could also, like, buy these people drinks and get them to love us, but I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe later. Where you at, buddy? Infiltrate the rise. Put an end to his worker rebellion. Dude, this dude hates the working class. Absolutely despises them. Can't believe I've chose this scumbag. So become one of the rise undercover. We'll take a few casualties, but it's a price I'm willing to pay. Oh my god. Well, fine, we'll accept the job. Turn myself in at a cell. Good God. Push you down. Japan's. Well, in that case, I guess we got a really shitty job to do. Also, some temporary stuff. A traveling auto dog salesman has set up the makeshift stall. Would be nice to have a companion. I don't know if I could afford it, but I could check it out, I guess. It's better than the spark grenade. It's just a one use card. Excuse me. One sec. Do you want to see care? Satsuko. Dude, this is so cheap. Alright, let's buy the good dog for 80. Let's go. So now we got a permanent ally in all our fights. Should make up for my kind of crummy battle deck. And it's a rise dog too, so that should like make me seem more like a rise kind of person. Kill you before I let you get to her boot look boot looker. Yeah, I want to switch sides. That's me. All right. Um See what's in the air. That was what I had before, wasn't it? Well, it is what it is. Let's deal a little max damage. Let's pose and do a little bit of this. Propaganda cards again. Okay, can I please get a snails? Son of a bitch. Get hit for four? God. Catelta. Elzima? Why are we still talking? Hmm. So I could have Jargon move to the left side of my hand. Um, probably want to just make Rationale free. Yeah, I'd rather just make this free. And then Trickery. Ooh, I could Rig. Or I could just gain a bonus action next turn. That seems pretty good. Delta. 
What is this? I can gain two actions. Oh god, the propagandas are expensive. I don't like that. I guess I could still... I actually don't know. I mean, I guess I could move Jargon all the way over. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's get that to the left. And then... Do trickery first. I don't need to reverse my lucky coin. I guess I could have set? I don't know, these all kind of suck for me. Like, they don't deal any damage. Unless I want to rig. I could rig snails. So here's what I could do. I could use this now. Rig snails, because I'm sure I'm gonna need it soon. I added the emote to uh, that box. I added it, um... Last week. Alright, so we definitely want snails now. I'm trying to figure out if I can guarantee we'll get rid of this. What's annoying is... Here, I'm going to apply my composure. It's like I can either play pleasantries and... Grumble. Or grumble and strained grumble. I think it's better to do pleasantries at strained grumble. I didn't remove it. Maybe it just got taken off the better TTV. I don't know. That's weird. It was working at last stream. Four, can I guarantee? It's like two out of three to wipe them out. How bad can that be? Um... I think I want to do destroy. I think I'm trying to go for a snail's deck. So I'll just get this out of my deck and not have to think about it anymore. And then I can start rigging some snails. That's pretty good. That's a shift. Dude believes me. A sucker. The Lord Keke to get you. Ooh, a random encounter. Said Jake. Sushipe. Back me up and I'll pay. Get them. Polina Tokol. Tiakatote. Out of the way, we have business to deal and discuss with that. Pogza will hate me if I do that. What the hell is that? What is going on with this? Oso Kiete. Tiapeku. Gotcha. Weapons were defective. Want my money back? Weapons at work. I don't want to kill a rise person. I think I'll just debate him. Of course. Also, Kiete. These cold arise battles are frustrating. Let's do our max damage. Let's rig a little bit. What are we gonna get from these? Is burn any good? No. Yes, strange grumble's pretty good. So can I share? Just not to shoot. Nice. More propaganda. Uh, 
Um, so I'm not going to call it. We're obviously going to get a snails. I guess it's fine. We'll just delete this from our deck. And we defend ourselves. Um, I need to level some stuff up. So here's how I'm gonna do this. I want to just play call it. We know it's gonna be snails. And then this works, we'll do trickery. I'll draw some cards. This is maximum leveled up now, so we can see what else is in here. Let's discard this. I can play Rationale and Dig. Sweet. Jargon is sweet. Ooh, two composure to a random argument or one to all? I don't have that many arguments in general. I think I'll just do boost the Jargon. That seems pretty good. I can beef myself the hell up. Mm, draw two cards, then gamble? Those cards cost one less until played? Mm, but it costs two... I don't know, it's locking me into cards I draw? They might just be shit draws? I don't like it. I'm gonna just take the money. Ooh, he's gonna offer me a discount on the next shipment. Or is he telling that to... Oh, he's telling that to them. And he loves me. We get another 20 discount. Oh, everything is so cheap. <laughs> okay, we could debate him to give us 50 shills in the easiest debate of our life. I just want to use this to upgrade some of my stuff easily. Uh, bad news is, is that... Um, Anything we play immediately gets rid of them. Let's just upgrade this and try to get to destroy. Mm, nope. Prepare a card might be good, though. At least that has benefits. Set the coin to heads. Isn't that great for me? Yeah, prepare a card's pretty good for jargon. Ooh, attack with this twice. I could go for more Jargon. It might be one of my favorite cards right now. Because then I could just get rid of the Composure things and just go for attacks and Jargons. Yeah. Or at least let's take this. It's free stuff. Thank you, Pogzo. To Kalandra we go. Saul. Drop the act, granddad. Am I really that old? Okay, so we'll take a job to gain his trust. And then we can talk to the boss. So we need supplies for the revolution. Sweet. Alright, cool. We are going... Here? Same place our friend is at. Another random encounter. Damaged enforcer. Stuck in some sort of diagnostic loop. <laughs> um, press a random button, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, let's press it again, and press it again, and again. All right, this isn't doing anything. Let's try a different button. Attack routine selected? Oh no. Oh no. That sucks. <laughs> uh, nice.
Well, and she's pretty uh, nasty right now. That's great. All right, well, we're going to start with a little boost the trigger. Shovel for... Oh. Hold on. Before I play Shovel, I want to play these cards to level them up. Because <laughs> he has absolutely zero HP. Lovely. Ooh, targets a random enemy fires four times, destroys after three uses. Burnout? If this card is in your hand at the end of your turn, expend it. Wait, this is really good. I will always want to give myself eight defense. Not always, but almost always. And then eight defense for one is just really good. And you can upgrade it to just give you tw 12 defense or eight. This, this is insane. Well, is the game good? Yeah, it's good. I mean, there's a reason I'm playing it outside of the sponsorship and in my free time. If you like deck builders, it's good. If you don't like deck builders, it probably doesn't really matter. Make him like us. It only costs 20 for a drink. So before the end of the night, I want to buy drinks for everyone to make them like me. And then maybe I can make them love me and get some sweet benefits. But only right before going to bed so I could sleep off the effects of drinking. But yeah, shoot. To a tonte. Sushu a key. Tonsius Fusia. Bacantati. He can't leave until he pays off his tab. Papirko. Kakete. Susatekel. Tonasike. Tirkatote. This dude's trying to scam me. My god. I fight for my own freedom first. Everyone else's comes second. Get me out of debt, then I'll take you to the cash. Keep your debt. Tell me what the tab is. Okay, guess not. How much does this cost? Just pay a hundred to make him like me? I mean, that's probably good, right? If we're trying to get on his good side. It's like the whole point of this ordeal. Get him to forgive the tab. Still a negotiation battle either way. And it's only like, not even love. Is 100 shills worth just the like? I don't think so. Just get him to forgive the tab. <laughs> Bud, buddy, friendo. Shotyuke. Sal has the same thing. Right, we got to flourish. We could um, get them to like not attack us. I feel like some, if I get him to just forgive the the tab, I'm sure Hebel will love me. Or not Hebel, uh, Nafru will love me anyway. I'm just not sure. You know what? I think I, I'll, I'll do this just first. Let's see what we get. Strain Rumble's pretty good. Called in the air. Let's get him. Just not sure. I think I think I should be playing this. Oh, gamble five times. That is not what I thought that did. Right. Um, in that case, I don't want to play that. I'm going to just give myself some HP. And I'm going to deal some damage. Oh, two composure whenever you play a manipulate card. Noted. What does this do? It targets my arguments. Hmm. I don't like it. It's only for one, though. I don't care about one. Yo, 
know what? Let's gamble five times. We get a little bit of benefits from it. Dealing two damage. Gaining composure. Not a bad deal. Um, let's do pleasantries? Let's do trickery first. Flustered. Kinda wanna do slight. None of these are that helpful to me again. I think Slight is the only one that could do something. So here's what I want to do. I want to do Slight. And then discard this one. So that will just naturally give me a little bit. So then I'll try to get rid of this. I could burn? I could try to get snails. Or I could wait until I get the guarantee card. Wherever that is. Let's just hit him. I am going for a snail's deck. Believe it or not. A chaser. Okay. I don't want to do slurred speech. But I do want this eventually. You know, it's fine. I might as well just get this out of the way. I know I could do it later, but I don't want to think about it too much more. Um, I guess I'm just applying composure. Level these up. Uh, final stretch my legs after this fight. After this fight, okay? Alright, I need snails. Show me snails. Son of a bitch. Show me snails. Thank you. Just gave himself a bunch of HP though. You hate to see it. Um. Hopefully trickery is decent. Catelta. Reverse my lucky coin. It might not be too bad. Or I can make him flustered. To reduce his damage. That's not too bad either. I'll actually mm. I'll do flip side. So what I'll do is burn, flip it, and pleasant trees. Doesn't even matter though, we didn't even get through to them. This sucks. Maybe another chaser. Let's rig some of these. Deal more max damage. Calls in the air. Great. Uh, I should be able to wipe them out now. Just don't play these, I guess. This I can play, though. I probably shouldn't have, though. I didn't realize it was already leveled up. Oh, well. It's fine. Five 
Foul Mouth discards a card. Discard a card, gain one Dominance. Dominance is just extra damage, which isn't bad, but it's not what I want right now. I think I just want more damaging cards. So Foul Mouth. Foul Mouth is quite fine. Right, let me stretch my legs after that fight. Really got me going. I'll do a double stretch. Uh, just to redeem both. Get that out of the way. Yeah, of course it was fulfilled 80s. And if it wasn't, scam him anyways. But it probably was. Uh, the bed thing was a calf stretch. Learned it after going hiking and had really sore calves, and so I would just stretch them all the time. I got him off. Amazing. He likes me anyway. I didn't even have to pay money. Okay, I'll convince him to come with me. I'm glad you saw it my way. I still code? No, not really. Haven't bothered since leaving college. More propaganda cards. Oh, should be preparing this card for sure. There we go. Um, I don't know actually why I'd want to take any one of these, because I don't want to play Call It. So which one do I almost not want? Maybe Foul, foul Mouth is the worst of them? Because I was going to play Burn. No, I wasn't. Fuck. I forgot. We don't actually have snails yet. Well, I'll just play Foul Mouth anyway. Discard literally any of them. K-Shock, thank you for the 11 months. Damn, why are all my coin flips so expensive? I guess I can finally use propaganda here. Make this one zero. And then here's how I want to do it. I'm going to give myself composure. I want to call it in the air. I'm going to level up call it. Sounds pretty good. Doesn't matter what it is. And then we just end it. I love upgrading cards. Ooh, I could set the coin? That sounds pretty good. Especially since I'm going for a one-sided deck. Yeah. Uh, this one isn't too bad either, but setting the coin is really powerful. Okay, although 
This is really helping me rig snails. I'd rather... I guess drawing a card's not too bad here. I was kind of hoping there was a way I could destroy these from my deck. Still fine. I'll draw a card. Or have more composure come out of them. Like, they're hardly worth it compared to the Jargon. Jargon's so powerful. I can just discard a card for free. Wait, while this is in your hand, apply three composure to random arguments whenever I prepare a card. Not that great. I'm not I'm not preparing that many things. How about snag? I mean it's okay. Discarding a card isn't the worst thing ever. But it's not that powerful. I think I'll just take the money. No, I've never heard of Oser. All right, the dude's going to dislike me anyway. We might as well go and fight. I mean, we could intimidate, though, too. We're good in both ways. I think I want to actually try to train my negotiation deck. This is the one I think has the most potential right now. Convince him to take a walk. What do you do? I get to draw an additional card every other turn. Pretty good. Um... Uh, here's what I want to do. I'm gonna hit him for this and I'm gonna discard this. This one's not that great. I'll take composure here. Is this a bad thing? It probably is. No? No, never mind. No, this is a good thing. I get to intimidate them. And I'll take an extra action next turn. How much delays are there in chat? Not too much, but not like it matters. People are just probably having this stream on in the background. Oh, he stole my cards. I would like those back. Those were some pretty good cards, I think. Both of these arguments are really annoying, actually. Hmm. Do this. Interesting. I don't know why it worked like that. Now I gotta discard something. Um. I guess intimidate. That's probably the weakest one. Burn can just be burn. See you bit. Apply some composure here so it doesn't die. Yeah, these stay in my hand so I can play them whenever I choose. Lost intimidates and intimidates. That I don't care about. Not at all a big deal. Let's get our max damage dealer out of the way. Actually, here's how I want to play this.
Um, this is awkward. I can actually play this. I wanted to get these out of the way so I can do boosted jargon. Let's do a bonus damage. And then I gotta play this. And I'll just take snails again. My rabble rouser is gonna die. If I'm not careful. I need something good here. Grumble's pretty good. Foulmouth hasn't been, or needs to be leveled up more, though. Yeah, that's enough defense for one day. Okay, so hostility cards are insane right now. Let's see. Let's do some of this. Fall in the air. We can play trickery. And I guess I'll do burn. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna keep setting the coin. That's so strong. Um I guess rooted grumble, just more damage. I don't need to set the coin more. And plus I don't want to expend it either. More damage. And then more composure. And I guess prepare a card? That's not too bad. Another foul mouth. I'm really trying to force the hostility deck, but it's not working that well for me. What does foul mouth do when upgraded? Pretty good damage. Or draw a card, discard a card. The game have Portuguese subtitles? I wish I knew. I'm sure you can figure it out like on their website. I think I'll do another foul mouth. I just need you know, more damage. That's it so. Boss Hopa. That's a shit so. Koanapo, that's it so. Chipepa, Pelsache, Tiotelpa. Nice. Better Shahu. Ah, uh, he's getting greedy. Capiel. Oh boy. Ansesso de Tia. Tia Catote. Atashu Kalina Takal Ansesso de Tia Tolsias Fusia. Excuse me. Tia Catote. Siohesha. She has Santum P. Cassis Holme. So we take the weapons and we sell it to them. Yeah, let's try it. If we get greedy early, it's a lot easier to win later. Which faction do I like the most? I don't even know what the factions are yet. I mean, the rise seems pretty cool. If I get a chance to betray my friend for the rise, I'll probably take them. I was going TK XM. Detusha, to a tonte, Dinasessa. 
Kto te se? Kapisha. Dila kuta. All right, good money. And we get a graft. All right. Why don't you spend your last charge draw card? At the start of each negotiation, disc up, discard up to two cards and draw that many new cards. Or red bandana, my allies become more powerful. I have a dog. So basically this makes my dog have two more attack damage. That's pretty good. I'm just thinking about this. I don't really care about that. I think I'll buff my dog a little. Plus, I have a lot of graph slots, so I can take one that's not even that amazing. Yeah, they're really not great, but they're better than nothing. Calandra enters the room. Dynahiss. <laughs> uh, thank you for the three months. It'd be cool if we can just make our dog super OP. Sehurkia. Sahasuna. Oh, wait, so are we a double agent or a triple agent right now? My god. What is going on? Flamel thinks you're spying on me. Don't no, let him up. know we're spying on him. They're gonna make me pick sides eventually, and I am I'm mostly decided, but I'm not sure yet. What if he has something good for me? So but you collect so. this. Well met. Is there anything else to do today? Oh, there's some temporary stuff. My friend Pogzo is in trouble. We gotta save Pogzo. What degree of Asian? Are you? I'm a quadruple agent. The extra weapons sold themselves. Fifty shells. Ooh, he will love me if I take the money here. Let's go. See you around, Rook. What do we get? We get a free RPG -G once a day from a member of the Rise. Let's go. Powerful stuff. Save Pogzo. Not gonna wait to see how it plays out. Fuck you, Pazlock. Sopa. Oh, the dude's really weak. Let's fight him off. We're not gonna kill him or anything, but we can deal with him pretty easily. Ooh. We could do our flourish, maybe? Eight damage hits all enemies. I'm gonna save that for a harder fight, I think. We're just gonna apply this now. It might be useful later, and then I'll kick... My dog's getting attacked. Oh no! It's a burr. Only be around for three turns, so it's not too bad. Um. I'm okay with playing this. This one isn't that powerful. Let me improvise though first. So burn is just damage over time. Interesting. Kind of want to gain charge because I have a card that really synergizes well with that. Trace around isn't too bad though. This is four to five damage, but not that amazing. It's like I don't want to attack this because he has eight defense, you know. So I might just try to play this, you know, maybe defend my pup. And then I started blasting. Oh, 
Now at least my pup does some damage. He's getting hit for 10! Okay, so I could fan the hammer into shovel. But I kind of want to boost the trigger first. Yeah, here's how it's going to go. We'll boost the trigger. That's a lot of damage. Then fan the hammer is insane. Um, it's going to likely wipe him out, so I'll just apply defense to level up this card. And then we'll spend this. And then accept his surrender. I'm not going to kill him. Can't see a dog's HP. I was told I wouldn't be covering up anything from here, but you're right, I can't see it. It's 25 out of 28. Um, let me see. Let me double check, I have stream mode on. If I have any overcharge, attack twice. I always have overcharge. I always have overcharge. This always attacks twice. Okay, so that's insane. Although, actually, all these are really good. This is 4 to 10 damage. This is... 6 to 8 damage. And I mean, realistically, this is... 5 to 7 damage? I mean, it's gotta be this, right? Oh, and because overcharge, I deal more damage, right? Increase max damage. I feel like this is the one. Then I'm gonna look at stream mode options. Hey, yeah, left side, that's weird. Maybe I'll just make the face cam a little smaller. What's the benefit of not killing them? If you kill them, someone's gonna end up hating you. And you see these like permanent buffs, you would get a permanent boon. Bane, a bane. Something that you. hurts you over time, unless you kill them as well. And then it's like a cat and mouse game of kill people, more people mad at you. But if you kill them, you get loot, so I guess you kind of weigh that. I should have looked at their loot. That's right, I saved you, buddy. Dead drop spot. Take care of that. Surprise, Hessian. He's the cult's god of the abyss. We're talking to God? No. A zealot. A member of the Hesh cult. This is the religion of the area. Ooh, okay. So this looks like a boss battle. Hold on, so we have to intimidate them first and then we're gonna fight them. Straight up. It so pulls. let's see what the deal is. When destroyed, they become impatient. They will obtain defect when you enter battle. So I want to kill this before the end of the negotiation so I can deal a little bit extra damage to them during the battle. Gotcha. Um, here, let's first do this and draw a card. Ooh, okay. I want to play this. I don't really care about preparing a card. Actually, I really don't care about playing a card. Give me a second. Whatever, we'll do it like this. I'll prepare. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to play this. We're going to set it to snails and we'll get him here. Good start. Moments of weakness. Okay, I cannot under any circumstance let that trigger. So, that's pretty yikes. I'm going to just apply this. And then prepare. I mean, it doesn't matter. Either one of these. So now we gain a little bit of composure. Let's... Rig a little bit. I need composure to land there if I can help it. 
Have this cost zero seems pretty good. Good, we hit that one. A little bonus damage. Good. And, um... I'll hit this now. We need to get both. Perfectly defense. Oh, we can hit all arguments now? Nice. Should probably do that right now. Discard a card. Here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna give myself composure. And then I'll hit this and just discard this. Oh, there is another defect we could give them. Um, that's greedy, but I might do it. Because the thing is, we give them impatience, so they're stronger now during this fight. I was expecting to just wipe them out this turn. And I still might. I still might just wipe them out. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty bad if I don't. Let's do this. Let's do some of these. I would like this card, just either one doesn't matter. Set the coin to heads and get him. It's fight time. Ooh. Five damage. That's what I like to see. A fly apply four composure seems pretty good. Better than three? This is the worst version of Burn. Oh, but the boosted one's a bit better. Yeah, the boosted one's a lot better. Guaranteed four. Is that worth it though? Like these, these aren't that powerful. I need ways to be able to make my snail stuff stronger. And I need to get rid of some garbage out of my deck, it seems. Stuff like these aren't that good. And honestly, some of these, these aren't that good either. This is a hard person to play. I don't deny it. I guess if I gamble, I get two free damage and then deal damage to everyone. Especially because I'm going to have it be rigged a lot. I really want boosted Slugstorm. So I'll try it. Just for the boosted one. You're only dragging out the inevitable. Alright, let's kill him. Or at least get him to surrender. Some good entertainment. Okay, well, we're definitely going to start with the flourish here. Give me that 8 damage. And I've... Yeah, double. I guess I could have kicked first. Didn't think about that. It's fine, though. Let's defend ourselves. And I'll still kick him. And I'll start blasting. You still can't see the dog's HP. This is bullshit. Streamer mode lied to me. There, now you guys can see. Okay, Surge Coil seems pretty good. Auto Mech Blaster seems good. Yeah, let's do that. Surge Coil. And Hunker Down. And that should be a full defense. This fight's easy. Our Bell Deck's actually really good. Uh oh. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, so if it's destroyed, I take 8 damage, but it's not even being attacked. So I don't give a fuck. I think I'll just deal some damage. A lot of damage here. And I'll, a lot of damage here. And the mine even defends itself? Yeah, that's no worries at all. 
Huh. A Grout Knuckle. It's fine, I'll just deal with you. Um... Let's improvise. Increases minimum damage of all attacks by one. That's not bad. I should get more cards to do that sort of thing. They have an evasion, which kind of stinks, but it's not too bad. I think I'll do this. Let's increase our minimum damage. I'm gonna have to... I'll probably gain two charge and two defense. Oh, I should shuffle first, huh? Um, awkward. That's fine, I'll just use this right now. Don't evade it. Not a big deal. Because now it does 4 to 6. Oh, it doesn't even matter if I hit this. Deal 8 damage back to the enemy when hit. I guess I won't be doing that. I'll just send it here. Whoa! Malfunctioning charge cells. You will take two damage for a charge cell at the end of your turn? No, I won't. No, I fucking won't. Good try, though. That kills them? Do I want to kill them? When this draw... Oh, when this card is drawn, gain the evasion. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so let's do it like... This. Let's apply this. I want... I'm hoping... No, I'm just gonna get him here. I was like, maybe I could try to play both and get lucky, but I don't want to think about it. Oh, what happens if I keep him alive, though? Is this a... Am I allowed to kill with impunity here? I don't want all the Hesh people on my bad side. It's isolated? Oh, cool, I can get away with murder. Let's do it. I know this thing existed, nice. I really wanted that card too, so I'm glad I went ahead with this. Definitely gonna double kick. Okay. What is this dead draw upgrade to do again? Dead draw is not helpful to me. Oh, if it's heads, double its card's damage and gamble. These would all be good ones if I was going for a heads deck, but I'm going for a snails deck. This isn't good. I'm going to lose because I'm trying too hard to do a snails deck. Yo, Dinah's. Thank you for the 10 bucks. I'm going to pronounce your name differently every time, I swear. Yeah, no heads. Just take the money. Ooh. Remove a random debuff from target enemy, gain an action? That's fine, because I don't apply debuffs. So this is just a free card. It's pretty good. Yeah, let's take it. Our battle deck is actually pretty nuts. But, so I need better stuff here. Alright, so reduce the cost of random card up hand by one until played. Two random people will hate me. I gotta take the interior drill. These are all basically gain one actions, but these two have massive downsides. I think it means only if you remove a debuff. Shit, you're right. Oh, that's bad then. Oh, this card's bad. I should have just taken the money. I guess it's not bad, but it's not good either. Um, but debuffs aren't the end of the world. Or aren't, like, that big a deal sometimes? But yeah, but sometimes they are. I don't apply debuffs, though. So I think it's just random damage. Alright, either way, this is the 
Only one without a downside. We could hit up the black market. We got 289 coins. Let's see what is here. Oh, God. Grifter, you want to earn a couple quick shills? Yeah, I was on the way to the black market. All right, easy. I could ask for more money. I want more money. Could really use the money. Okay, that's fine. Let's do this and draw a card. So maybe take this and see what I get first. Probably the one that costs zero. Right, so here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna do Slug Storm to gamble. This costs zero. And this deals four. Nice. Easy negotiation. I don't even need to do this flourish. I'll just, uh... Oh, this is awkward. Here's what I want to do. I want to set it to heads. And then I want to use this to prepare this card. And then I want to set it to snails. And play burn. Son of a bitch. Alright, that's fine. Actually, this was the best possible outcome. It would have been even better if that didn't kill him and I could have upgraded some more cards. Deal plus one damage for every argument you have. I don't summon that many arguments. I have two foul mouths already. I'm not... Like, I'm not that in love with the card Foul Mouth. I think I'll just take the money. 50 shills. But that's the final offer. Okay. Unnecessarily gross. Okay, so we're defending our Urga. I think our battle deck's a little Yay, better here. Seven months now. Can Twitch stop telling me to share this? Yeah. Rise pamphleteer. We have to be sure we don't kill him, because we don't want the Rise to hate us. get this over with. These dogs can go. I'm getting attacked by the main dude and this dog. Um. He heals. Let's deal with the dog first. And a little bit of defense. Also, my allies all have two powers. The snail is fighting for me. What a beast. Nice, I've gotten evasion. Um... Here's how it's gonna go. We could probably wipe out this dog right now. Green five. As long as we hit nine or ten, I'm happy. We got ten. Do I need to auto mech blaster? Oh, we could have attacked the spark mine. I didn't even notice this. This thing does 14 damage to all. Uh, but it's 22 to deal 14 damage. So I'm just going to take it up top. I'm not even going to auto mech blaster. Poor robot dogs. My poor dog. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I gained healing if you kill it. I guess I could try to wipe out the spark mine. Yeah, double kick into blast. Oh, it's already gonna be destroyed. Oh, it's gonna be destroyed if I do this. Sweet. Hell yeah. This game is just so good. Okay. He's gonna die. Um. But I can call off the attacks once he goes to panic, I hope, right? God, I hope so. Just in case, if not, I might just try to bring him down to my level. Test how Ripper works. Well, the semicolon memes is a requirement. That's also how it works in this game. I, what I'm mostly thinking about is I want to make sure he lives by attacking him. But here's how it's going to go. I'm actually going to go crank first. And it's very unlikely this kills him. This should just, like, cause him to surrender. How's it going, Duke? I want to play this, too, and I want to play that. He didn't even surrender. Well, he should surrender now. Fuck. I've made it worse. It had to have, had a, have met two, didn't it? Son of a bitch. Well, hopefully nobody ends up hating me because of that. I killed a rise person. The rebellion. Ooh, when fully charged, this costs zero. I heard if allies do the killing, it doesn't count. Oh? I could turn down the music after this. The snail did it, blame the snail. That'd actually be really sweet. How often am I fully charged? Because I have a thing that removes all my charge. I might just gain a charge instead. To try to buff out the... Fan the hammer. That's like the main point of my deck. Put this at like 75. I don't know why the music gets so loud during some fights. Costs one less per empty cell. Hmm. Well, both this and lever are pretty good. Five defense and two overcharge. That's a good deal. This is only good after I remove all of my charge. And then it's only a 1 cost 4 to 7. 1 cost 4 to 7 isn't even that good. I think a lever is pretty good though. So I'll take that. You've earned your pay already. I'll finish the job. And he loves me. So that fight was awesome. Whenever I play an item card, gain 2 defense. Item cards are the uh, green cards. That uh, destroy themselves. So what a good deal. Thank you for the money. Anyways, I was on my way to the black market. It's for members only. Buy a membership? Or debate my way in. Mention a friend who is a member. Uh, that might actually have a back, um, backfire. I'm just gonna vince him. Just the hunch. All right, so I need to flip the coins. Hold on, um... Oh, this is annoying. It's gonna gamble five times, so I can't rig. Well, it's fine. I can do Snail Stunt Hunt into Slug Storm anyway. So it's not a big deal. Let's play this anyway. Maybe we'll end on Snails. The end... That's Snails, right? Yeah, it's Snails. Okay. I think I'll still play this and Slugstorm. Get the free costing one. Oh, we know the outcome of this. 
Oh, this is easy. <laughs> Easiest negotiation of my life. We're very powerful. And maybe another snail hunt? This card's actually really good. Yeah, I, I like snail hunts already. Conditional membership granted. Yeah, I'm ready to spend and buy some stuff. How are you doing, Queek? So we can buy cards or... Oh my god, this is so cheap. Thin out my deck. I'll probably do all three. Look at the cost of these. God damn. Um... Damn. So loader's interesting. Gain two temporary power for each charge spent. Um, that is very powerful. Temporary power is really good since I have double attackers. What is this upgrade to? All right. This actually might be insane. I don't want to do this just yet, but I think I want to buy this card. I want to explore my options. I definitely want to do both of these, but again, not yet. Let's... Plaka's the graphs one, right? Graphs are really nice. Permanent buffs, what's the best one? Whenever I gain influence. I don't gain influence that often. Start of each turn gamble. I... It's okay. Probably not a good thing, though. None of these are that great. Let's see, battle graphs. One of consecrate concentration. I don't have concentration, but that could be a good thing for my deck. Whenever I gain charge, gain two defense. That's not too bad, actually. Rugged wiring is pretty good, too. If I don't take damage, I just have two power for the whole match. So I think I'm going to buy both of these. This costs 220. So then I won't be able to far afford the good card I want. Maybe I don't want armor plating then? Maybe just rugged wiring? This one for sure. I mean, this, this one's just nice. <sighs> to think if I want this. How about I explore my other options, just to see what's up with the Vaux. Break anything, I'll break you. Oh, there's only two vendors, that's crazy. So my option is R, Loader, or the Graft. Huh. Um, well, I know for sure I'm going to be able to do these, so maybe I'll start with doing these. Let's Thin my decks a bit. What is my weakest card? It might be some of the composure ones because I have jargon. These are okay. Preparing the jargon's not bad. So I feel like I'd rather get rid of like sluggish rationale. Because I have snail hunt, snail hunt. Maybe visionary rationale? Yeah, is, or what about like... Foul mouth? I think foul mouth isn't bad. Maybe one sifting pleasantry is maybe just one is enough. I could see that being the case. I could see that being the case. Let's get rid of it. And get rid of a battle card. Something garbage. Well, it might be Ripper. Because I now realize what it does. Uh, 
Uh, but it still not, might not be that bad. Like, I haven't gotten a chance to play it. Like, maybe I'd just rather get rid of, like, a hunker down. Or maybe, like, one of my weaker blasts. Or maybe ammo pouch? Ammo pouch isn't that great. Yeah, like, this is better than blast, so I would want to get rid of a blast first. I think I want to get rid of ammo pouch. Usually the improvised cards are not that good. Uh, but they have been kind of decent. It's more for Sal that they kind of suck. Here, they're not bad synergy. I think I'll still yeet it anyways. Alright, so let me look at this graft again. Whenever I gain charge, gain two defense. It's decent synergy with the rugged wiring, but it's like not that powerful. <gasps> Excuse me. I could just come back another day and get a better graft. I think I'd rather have a really good card here. I have a lot of ways to gain charge. Yeah, let's... I, I think I should do it. Because this will also give me defense. When I remove the charge. Let's go. Do I want any of these? Probably not. No. It's called a night. First, though, let's buy some drinks to know... Um, what we can get out of it. It's only 20 for a drink. So we would get Mixology. Whenever I drink to restore resolve, also restore for health. Alright, what about you, Gumthal? What do you do? You can negotiate for better quest rewards. That's a good one. I wish I'd actually gotten that one or talked to her first. Because I could have bought it right away. Can you right click on them? No, you can't. How about you? Did I buy a loader? I did. What do you do? Damn, when you sleep. Ah, it's just not that great. When you sleep, gain full experience on a random card. Not in love. Let's just go to bed. Shoot sword. Nice, unlocked another character. Oh, you have multiple quests at the same time, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm playing this out, duh. Dude, this was a very successful day. Got so many people loving us. And our decks are pretty nutty. Like, this is only day one. And we're this powerful. All right, let's figure out stuff to do. Talk to Calandra, talk to Flamo. Let's go to Calandra, maybe. How's it going, Sabana? White hot stinger on the back of my neck. A freaking bee? Oh, good. What is that? I got poisoned? These are bad, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're bad. Removing this card from your deck lowers your maximum health by 10. That sucks. That really sucks. Wow. Fuck you, too. Oh, nice. I can get an RPG. And do some dirty work. Nice. We get a graft from this. Steel processing cores. I like it. 
Shoes at your. Backdoor password is contemporary. I'm probably going to actually have to remember that. Maybe I might want to go here, see if I can remove those garbage cars from my deck. That's a beep you? No. It's not how it works. Shimato. Alright. Delicate Koseka. equipment. Shamahona. Siponke. You remember the password, right? Rook certainly doesn't. Okay. Contemporary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. We're going to grind you in the pace. Okay. Better put down the guards quickly. Threat detected. Oh, this actually might be a harder battle than I thought. Hmm. Okay. This isn't that great right now. I'm obviously gonna defend my dog. Um, I think I'll wipe out the drone. Or I could just go for this guy. Now we can't see my health. We've become minuscule. Dude, st stream mode just doesn't work. It's rigged. Uh... So I guess I'll do Ripper and these two. So I assume this won't give me a free action. I guess it's time to find this out once and for all. No. That's fine. Alright, good start. Another one of these assholes. I've got an evasion, so I'll be fine. Eight counter, though? That's annoying. Won't that just be fine if I bum rush him? Hold on, let's gain a charge first. Then attack once per... Oh, he's already going to surrender. Um, Alright, let's just play cards for XP. A little bit of XP. And... It said put him down. I prefer not to kill him though again. Let's just wipe this out. Being said, what do you get? Oh, so, yeah, it's not even good. We accept the surrender. Ooh, attack once extra per overcharge. I don't like spending overcharge. But it could be like a good final attack, I guess. 
Rooted Barrage is pretty good. Searing Bolt would work with Ripper? Well, both would work w with Ripper. Wait, what's Ripper? Yeah, what the fuck is Ripper? Uh, this one? It would give them a debuff. I don't know. I don't think I want to target that synergy. It's not even that good of a synergy. Ripper's just going to be a slightly better blast, I think. I'd rather just have high damage numbers. It's a pretty high damage number, I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, big damage. But only at the cost of overcharge. That's what I don't quite like. Temporary power. Realistically, I'm only going to have one overcharge. So this is just a double attack. A double attack at two to three, is that even good? I don't like it. Although Surge Coil is kind of similar. But it's a lot weaker. Or sorry, Surge Coil is a little bit better, I think. I think I'm gonna skip. I can keep my mouth shut, I swear. If we let him go, he'll love me. That is way better than money. Before I change my mind. Start a negotiation. Add a random authority card to your draw pile. Sick. Good stuff. Good work. And a graph ward. And she likes me. Has started negotiation and start whining. I just create an annoying argument. Ooh, the spider is pretty good. After every eighth card played, it gained two temporary power. Uh, pocket bomb's not bad either. How often am I going to shuffle my deck though? Kind of kill him pretty fast. So shuffling a deck, I don't think happens that often. Spider's really good. Temporary power. Quartermaster at the HQ. So here? No. I just gotta work both sides. Okay. 175 shells. We need Org dead? Hmm. At least Org doesn't love me. It's gonna have some downside. Make sure they don't survive. Someone's gonna end up hating me after this. I don't like it. Oh no, he's going to dislike me if I attack him. Oh, that being said, a lot of people are going to hate me if I kill him. Oh my god. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't matter that or Orog dislikes me now. He's going to die anyways. It's more about just the fact that um, these guys are freaking brutal. Actually, what the hell is this damage? Jesus Christ. We got a lot of goons.
Hmm. I don't know who I'm gonna hit first. Probably the regenerating one. I could have them all just target my dog and... And take it down. Do I really sacrifice my dog to save myself? Good god. Let me just apply some defense first. Let's attack twice here. If I can wipe you out, that'd be nice. I have to spend charge for this? I might as well just blast and stockpile arm charges. I mean, it's not a real dog. It's very robotic. Here's the thing, though. It's not worth doing it if I'm just gonna survive this fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could keep the dog around for longer. If I lose the dog, I permanently lose the dog. So, if I have to take... 22 damage just to make sure I have the dog in a future fight. I think I'll I'll do that And plus I already defended myself so it would be a waste to defend myself then go for the dog Oh, I got one of these How about I? I guess I'll just double kick? Ah, it's already being attacked though. I think I'll auto mech blaster then. Well, do I want a loader? I might loader actually. Yeah, temporary powers, uh, not bad here. Then I can auto mech into double kick. And just not ripper. It's not bad. Let's do that. Six to nine. Guys. Okay, you're panicking. Dog's attacking Org now. Oh, sorry, I don't have double kick money. Okay. Um. In that case, I'll go for. Veep, maybe. Maybe or maybe just org. It doesn't matter. Ooh, should definitely do this. Oh, it hits all enemies. We're gonna kill Yibbit. And it's not about killing Yibbit. I guess I don't really care if Yibbit dies. It's more like I just wasted damage accidentally. Well, it is what it is. We're killing people now. Civilians are gonna fucking hate us. Yeah. I mean, it's just so powerful. Juke the... I hate this twig. Okay. So we're gonna spend a charge first. I'll do it like this. Like that. And then, yeah, I will be able to defend, and we'll do you there. And then we'll start killing. We'll kill Orug for sure. What do I get if I kill these? <sighs> Consumables. These aren't bad, it's just... Are these people gonna hate me? Or are other people gonna hate me? I think a lot- everyone's gonna hate me regardless, so I might as well just kill them to get free items. Civilians are gonna have an uprise against me. Yeah, Pazlock hates me. Oh, just one? Oh, that's not too bad then. 
Guess we did wipe out the entire civilian squad. Um, no, these are not good. I'm dangerous and unstable. This is good. It makes my hostility cards better and my diplomacy cards worse. And I'm already getting rid of my diplomacies. Org is dead. And so is everyone else. Jesus Christ. Alright. Ooh, all attacks gain plus one to minimum damage. That's pretty good. Tumblr is not bad either. Yeah, I mean, they're better before the porn ban, but... <sighs> bottom edge? It's like, which deck really needs it more? Because to be honest, my battle deck is really good. Maybe I just want to save the final graph slot for something insane. If I was to get rid of something, it'd probably be Red Bandana. So maybe I'll just take Tumblr. I prepare cards how often? I have one. One card that prepares. That is not often, and I want this out of my deck. So, it's going to be Bottom Edge. Night time. There's a weapon smith there, or... Pause goes looking for something to do today if you need helpful company. Um... So I could probably pick up Pazgo and add, um, and bring him to this fight. I assume there's going to be another fight there, but I don't know. I think I'll do the gun show. Visit the weaponsmith. I don't think I'll need an ally. Ask Frizz to tweak my pistols. It would take about a week. What can you do with five minutes and diminish expectations? Um, ooh. I could have more or fewer charge chambers. That is really interesting. Um, I want to say more because that's just more defense, but if it's fewer... Then I could get, um, more overcharge. Nah, but overcharge isn't as important as being able to spend all my charge and maybe having the potential to spend four charge. And gain defense, naturally. So we're going to increase. Do you want to share? One for free, two, but it'll cost me. How much does this cost? 210? It's not that good. We'll take one charge chamber. Thank you, Frizz. Alright. Black market time. What do you have for me now? Whenever I gamble, add a composure to random friend arguments. That's not bad. Mm, Lotus Breaker. Locust Breaker is not great. Ooh, at the start of each negotiation, rig two snails. That's pretty good. Is it, though? Do I need it? I feel like I don't need it. I have so much that rigs it already, and these set the coin. And I assume in the beginning I don't start off by gambling anyway. It only matters if I draw Slugstorm and no other rigging, rigging stuff and uh, happens to roll heads, so I don't think it's that good. This is not that good either though, because I don't gamble that often. What about the uh, battle ones? Uh, I don't think my cells are off empty that often. It's way harder to get fully charged. And I don't do ricochet much. Maybe I'll just add another graph slot. 
another battle graft. Let's uh, check this out though first. Oh, it's 60 to remove now. It's uh, funny that's mentioned because I have some terrible cards that need to go away. When this card's effect is triggered a specific number of times, is destroyed, and a special effect occurs. Um, is the special effect lowering my maximum HP? Special event. Is that what happens? Or is, is that not how it works? Hope not. Because in that case, I might as well... Let it ride out. Might as well ride it out. Take a little bit of damage and stuff in the meantime. What about cards? Apply a wound per empty cell? Hmm. At the start of your turn, choose a card in your hand and prepare it. That's really good, actually. For this deck. Um, because then I can always prepare these if they draw, and then I really don't need this card. And then I could go for prepare synergy. I think I will. I'll take it. May I don't think I'll need to remove anything unless I want to remove some card that's just kind of boring. Then you had. Oh, why did I think that was a previous um, graft choice? I see. Well, I still don't want these. Now the question is. I think I would want to do one of these. Maybe get rid of a battle card? I don't have anything terrible though, you know, except for Blast. Blast is just dog shit. I mean, Hunker Down isn't great either. Targeting Core sucks. I would actually do something here, though. I would actually get rid of this one. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, before I do this. So, this is a really weird thing. Before I even go here, actually what I want to do is go to the bar. Son of a bitch. Because I wanted to see if I could maybe get anyone to love me there. To a tonte. So, Makaso. Oh, the metal's the meta currency. I'm just gonna ignore all this because I don't spend my metal and I don't really care at all. I'm going here. So you like me already? That's the only one I can get right now. I don't want to drink with anyone right now because I don't want to add any garbage to my deck. Um, so it was nice at least. Here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna add a graph slot. A battle graph slot. As long as I have enough money to have a meal at the bar before the final battle, I'm good. And I think I will. Yeah, surely I will. So now I go back to here. Heal up. And then I go to the final fight. 30 HP. Good. Wait, how much did it cost? 10. 10 shills. Could do it again for 5 HP. Probably not worth. I could play with my dog in the room. What's up, dog? I could leave the dog here to keep it safe during the fight. Ooh. Preserve the dog's life? Pet. Because, yeah, my dog's pretty weak. He's 11 HP. I might have him set this one out. Hopefully, he heals overnight. 
Yeah, it is it is way too unsafe, I think. Mosakia. Now I'll come back get you later. Let's do this. No ambush. Oh, there isn't a fight? Unless if someone who's really good at ambushing. Mm -hmm. Make content with Delena. Oh, I see. Coordinate to re retrieve the, the documents. So there will still be a fight. Here? Dude looks depressed. Could share a drink. Uh, not right now, though. Uh, 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 off we go. I was going to Supercon. Kiyakase. <laughs> Inta attack the entire bandit camp or simply debate them. Real tough choice there. Alright. Uh huh. Let's do it like this. Show me snails. Unstable or whatever, I'll play unstable. Son of a bitch. Okay, I forgot that was a possible outcome. Well, it is what it is. That was probably the worst possible outcome. Really could good card just got destroyed from my deck. Well, in that case. Let's do some snail hunting. Probably foul mouth? What's your map for? So it's weird, all of my attack cards are together, and now I'm gonna draw like all my composure cards, aren't I? Um indoctrination. When destroyed, gain one dominance per stack. Interesting. I don't think I'm too worried about this negotiation battle. I'll chill with that. Did this apply? I didn't see it apply. Strange. Oh, because I drew it first. Lucky me. Escalation's a little annoying. Like, I kind of don't want to slugstorm. I might you just play us then. Hmm. 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to play one of these unless if I can kill it for sure. No, it's maybe I can kill it. Alright, preparing this for sure. Gonna draw a card. Proper channel. Oh, it attacks their stuff. Cool. A little composure here. Well. Uh, I hate the impatience. Impatience can really get out of hand. So, here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna play this. Keep preparing this card. Then maybe I'll get rid of this stack? It's also probably not worth it. It's probably not worth it. Katelka. Let's just take it up top. Doesn't matter. Burn. Probably this. Um, I would like to get Slugstorm. Only issue is that I might not have enough damage. Eh, we'll hope for the best. Oh, actually, yeah, no, it, it, it will kill it. Like, we know this is going to be snails. Nice. I think I'll just do the consistent one. See, Slugstorm's not bad. Dig isn't bad either. I think Dig's actually really good. Pressure is interesting. This thing could kind of keep scaling if I just keep spending influence. Uh, but, you know, it's not that kind of deck. I'll dig. Interesting. I think we attack. Oh, but there's Pogzo! No, we have to attack a dude who loves us. Come on. Fuck. I think I'll threaten then. I don't want to accidentally wipe him out. Pogso does good shit for us too. It's the bait. Okay, nice. Not what I was hoping to find. 
Let's take foul mouth. I want to hit. Ooh. I think I'll reverse the lucky coin. Well, no, it doesn't really matter right now. Maybe just bonus action next turn. Is a card that's on the left always prepared? Uh, yes, never mind. So two damage, or I could just have another action next turn. I feel like an action, action next turn might be just fine. There's a chance it backfires though, so maybe I'm gonna just do bank. All three are actually not that bad. I kind of don't want to play this, because I want these Intimidates to go off. They make my hostility cards more powerful. Oh god, this kind of argument battle. Fuck, I hate these. I need this to go. There. Um, discard. I don't know. What's the worst one? Guess this one's pretty bad. Here's what I want to do then. I want to do this. Prepare you, just gain a little bit of composure. Okay, get to draw a card if I get rid of that at least. Of course, I can't do anything about it right now. This kind of sucks. I think I'll keep this in my hand. Mm. Yeah, we're doing chill. Hmm. card costs zero. Huh. That's pretty powerful. If I want to set the coin. And maybe I do. I probably should. But to so bad. I lose one damage. What's your muscle? One damage isn't that important. I would like this now. Ooh. We'll do that. Hit him for a ton. Draw some cards, I guess. Put yelly. Take one, it's not a big deal. All right, logically, we should be able to wipe them out. Um, logic is sometimes misleading. Obviously, gonna do this. Gonna probably do that one. I could pay him. It's only two composure though, it's not that big a deal, I don't think. Mm, it might be. If I have to do another negotiation battle after this, it will matter. 
and this will only deal two. Do I have any other way to gain more composure? Right, let's play this one, see what Stop happens. That. Five shills is not the biggest deal in the world. Improvise plus? Oh, more cards to choose from. Oh, that's pretty good. Good guy's snail hunt. He is Arnak for me. Manasia, Bajasal, Takuato, Anukumu, Tianoketua. Another debate. I think I want 150 shills. Yeah, don't rip me off. Gonna prepare first. I think I'll play this. I, I didn't make use of it last time, but if I don't make use of it this time, when will I make use of it, right? Let's try it. I would like to hit snails. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And then we'll do something like that. And a little bit of that. Okay, this fight will be easy. Do a few things here. I could just end him now. Oh, how do I undo? Well, I guess I'm ending him. I guess I could end it or did it with uh, heads. And it's not that big deal, but I maybe could have gotten a bit more XP on cards. Brood is not that good. Oh, well, if I don't have dominance, Brood is actually pretty decent. Because it's two to three to everything. Eh, still not in love. I don't think it's the card I want. So we have to do this. Salsito, Sakapatian, Pereshahul, Shutsona. Uh oh. Shinapulpa. You lying, thieving, no account cheat. Dude hates me. Uh oh. Oh my god. Hey, it's fight time. I can't pay you if I'm dead. Yep, I got you. He's got 40 HP. Um. Uh, right, who's attacking me? This thief is. You can also get rid of the fleed. Yeah, at least he can't hate me if he's dead. And that's probably gonna happen. Oh, but we're not isolated. But it's fine. I mean, the worst that could happen is just ha another random person hates me. And their Bane is worse than this Bane. This Bane isn't that bad, though. So maybe I would keep him alive because it's not that bad. All right, let me figure out who I want to attack. It's gonna be double kick boosted trigger, just who we aiming at. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for G.
Okay. Workers' gloves? I don't really care about that. Alright. So we have to do this. Um... Still don't think I'm gonna do targeting core. Bonus damage per empty cell. So I think I'll play everything but anchor and targeting core. This will probably deal with. Well, it may not deal with them. Oh, we got him to panic. Good. And now shovel's doing well. Shovel will not make this flee to panic. I guess we'll just get him. The fleet is like not a worry. How is this area not a secluded area, by the way? This field is so secluded. Tempted to get rid of this fleet. RPG. RPG is fine, I think, as long as the Thief G doesn't get attacked by other things. So I could do this. And then I could take care of this fleet at least. Goodbye. Another one of these things. Okay. Hmm. Well, I would gladly give myself defense and overcharge. Definitely surge coiling. Now it's like blast so I can upgrade it. A ripper for a little bit extra damage. You know what? Let's upgrade the thing. Oh, the temporary power came at such an unfortunate time. Uh, he's rallied again. I do I care if this dies? The attacker gains three mending. No, I don't give a shit about the cyst. I can have everything target the cyst if I felt like it. Uh, but why bother? I'm defending everything. Just take overcharge and give myself defense. I guess I could have kept it alive. No. Well, yeah, I could have. I would have just had to take one damage. Oh, never mind. Why did I think this was gonna die? Dude's about to surrender. How? How? How is that? I guess this effect will deal some damage? Alright, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to blast you so you get to panic, or maybe don't get to panic. Oh, that's awkward. Well, I need to kill Thief G, it seems. I was hoping we could get lucky, but no. Time for people to hate me. And him, we should just kill. This isn't even that good, though. But. We want to kill him because Ash already hates me. Let's do it. Merc hates me because I killed G. Yeah, I didn't want to kill G, but it is what it is. And Kel hates me because I killed Ash. And okay, Kel just has the same negative effect. 
So literally nothing changed. It is what it is. Mm, I don't know if I want to spend charges. Draw a card, I guess. Probably going to take that out of my deck. It's not very good. Well, Cheap Shot is more interesting now that I have five cells. This might not be too bad if I can get it for free. That's a big if, though. I think I'll try it. We'll see how often we get this for free. At least Delena loves me. Oh, nice. Now Stas cards cost one less action. They cancel each other out. Perfect. And we get money. And we get graphs. Start of each turn, prepare a card. Oh, I took a card that does that. So now I could get that card out of my deck. And I'm pretty glad because actually waiting to draw this card is pretty annoying. I wouldn't mind just preparing a card by default. I think that's a lot better. But yeah, now I need to remove that from my deck. Probably over here. Goodbye. Did I want to buy anything? No. Not of these. I don't think I want to buy any of these. Nah. Now the question is, do I want to remove a battle card? Let me look at my deck. I mean, Visionary Blast is pretty bad. Drawing a card doesn't really matter because I just want my hand to be good by default. Maybe defense cards can go? Maybe Hunker Down's worse. Yeah, it could be. I could also choose to again save my money and just spend it at the bar. God damn it. Oh, we're just looting. Not too big a deal. Yeah, I'll lose HP. Not a big deal. To a tonte. Ooh, what's that? Oh. Okay. Seems pretty good. Oh no. Just a pool. Uh oh. Uh, they hate me. They just dislike me. I know who you are and what you've done. Uh-oh. Oh, we're just doing a job. If they were going to attack us, it could have been really bad. Okay, we're doing a fight that definitely means I should eat up. Don't let me decide whether you should buy a game. You're a... You can figure it out. You're smart, probably. Do you want the game or do you not want the game? It's that simple. What do you do for me again? Full experience on a random card. Uh, in that case, I am going to go back to the black market. Excuse me. Let's remove something. 
I might as well just get rid of Blast. But if I get to gain a charge with Blast... Like, it might be worth to still level this one up. Whereas this one is not that good. What would I rather have, the Visionary Blast or Hunker Down? I want to say Visionary Blast. So I guess that means we yeet Hunker Down. Alright, let's go do the quest now. Hunting bugs. Hey, how about you provide backup? Shoot and shoot, sir. Capisha. So ti pay me pa koa. I don't get paid enough for that. Start battle with any supporters you've won to your side. This will end the, the negotiation. So these, I see, I see. If I kill them, I'll add supporters to my side. So I just survive as long as possible, then end the negotiation when I feel like it. Cool. Everything's free. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do... Let's win over the auto dog first. And then let me draw a card, discard a card. Guess it doesn't really matter. Not a good hand. I need more card draw if I can help it. Uh oh. Ooh, they stole a couple of my good cards. Not what I want to see. There's some pretty good stuff here. Should, should play the free card. Katelka. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think Slugstorm I do want. It's just, I swear, if this hits two. Nice. I'm not gonna play this right now. Yeah, I'll draw it next time. I'll deal with it later. Mm. Get him. Oh, I don't give a shit about Herkut's composure. Or maybe I should? I don't. Still gonna take a little damage? Mm, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's deal some damage here. See you until Discard some garbage. And then we don't get to activate that. Now we get to act activate that. Snail hunt stolen again. Give me that. Let me flip a little. Okay. It's on heads right now. Let's start with this. Boosted burns, really good. So can I shot? Send a best This is just the basic ascension. I don't need more composure actually, somehow. That's nice. See if I can find something better than Foul Mouth. It's a little better, yeah. Alright, very good turn. We're gonna get them all, I think.
let's play unstable. What's the worst that could happen? Wow, that was actually the best possible outcome. Nice. Let's play this. What's your map Uh, here's a question. Do I always draw? F oh, never mind. I always draw five. I not don't draw up to five in my hand, so I can keep this now. Six cards. We chilling. Stop yoinking my cards. How dare you? It's pretty good ones, I think. See ya, till then. Let's play this. I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna set the coin at least once. Probably a couple times. Alright, what needs composure? Probably straw man? Also permit. No, permit's pretty good. I like permit. Let's apply this here. Ooh, boosted dig. Very nice. Dude, I have so many arguments. My arsenal is unstoppable. First time catching the stream, cool to be here. Glad you could join. Alright, thanks for stopping in. Alright, we're ready to start this battle. Um, can I level anything up? Actually, yeah, let's level some stuff up. We could still level stuff up. How about... Slugstorm? Yeah, Slugstorm's pretty nice. Oh, was I exhausted? I didn't even notice. Well, either way, this is fine. Um, here I would rather have upgraded special cards. It's not like I play as often, but the card I take, I would rather have larger impact. Ah, uh, but maybe a wider range of things I could do. Nah, I'd rather have him be stronger. Way stronger. It's probably one of my weakest cards, though. I'll have to get rid of it eventually. Hmm, spend all dominance. I mean, burn is nice. Burn is one of those negotiation cards I really like. How many do I have? I have a boosted burn, and I have a... Oh, I don't even have another burn. Yeah, give me that then. Actual boss battle time. I don't think anyone's gonna be mad if I kill the fleet queen. That is a lot of damage we're about to do. Good thing we have allies. Uh, how do I want to do this? I think I'd rather do anchor than double kick. Double kick's not bad either. Oh, I forgot this. Gives me temporary power. Honestly, I don't think I'll need anchor. I think I'll just double kick. Like, this is probably enough damage to 
outweigh the benefits from anger. Or it's more like I'd rather set anger for another fight. <laughs> I could double a double. So I go workers gloves, workers gloves, RPG. That sounds pretty good. It doesn't stack! It's the next two attacks. And it buzzed only this turn. That sucks. Well, we're still gonna play this. Whatever. Dude, I was so excited to see times four, but it doesn't work that way. All right, um. I guess the Visionary Blast is not bad here. Let's see what we can get. Play this. I think gaining charge is nice. Oh god. When this larva dies, insert tiny stinger into your hand. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. Might just not play tight spot then. Damage a little. Thank you. And thank you. A lot of defense. I'm glad I took these. Too scanned? Ooh, I get counterattacked. Oh, that sucks. I was about to apply so many uh, attacks. Oh, that really sucks. Son of a bitch. Wow, all these are s mm, If it didn't have counter, we would be so good right now. I guess it's still fine that I played the one. Well, crap. Um... I guess I should kill this so they attack the Fleet Queen? Like, I'll do this here. Is there any chance you might do Spire now that you have new deck game? No, one deck game at a time. So, I think I actually want to remove the charges just so I can defend a little bit better. And also mostly to level this up. Like, I want to just kill this so then they can all attack this and then I won't have to. <laughs> this is so overkill. But if I do this, I would probably die. So, let's just, let's just overkill the shit out of it. I will defend. I think I'll just let it ride. Good. Getting hit for a lot. Okay, no more counterattack. We're gonna kill it. Nice. Spend all charge attacks once and gain an overcharge for each charge. 
or draw a card for each charge? I think overcharge is nicer. I don't need to draw a card. Like, pretty much all my cards are decent. I'll just play what my hand gives me. Uh, deal one to four damage, gamble once per resolve lost. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's really good. Because it's just going to be a bunch of free damage. With the snail stuff. Let's try it. When I spend charge, gain defense. When I spend overcharge, draw a card. Char <laughs> draw a charge. Draw a card. I have no idea. I think I'm just gonna skip. There we go. She'll or one person likes me at least. Now I get a reward. Um, free action. Can no longer own a pet. I don't like that. I think a uh, quick charger is the best of all of them. Have a good one, basic. Yeah, quick charger is just the best of these. Let's take it. Shikipuna. Alright, so now I can finally maybe get people to love me. One last. Eh, not yet. Let's see what kind of love things we can get. Weapon supplier. Receive a random item card every morning. That's not bad. Just keep exploring the options. I'll probably do that one at least. Another sleep gain an experience. I don't care about that one too much. Oh, Gira's now indifferent towards me. So I have to share two drinks? That's fine. Now, hold on. Now is the time to decide if I want to take the full upgrade. It might not be too bad. It might not be too bad, but I will only get three upgrades, or I could get, which one was it? Zapieta. A random item card every morning. Let's try this one. It's worth more, so it's obviously better. Do you still have the same thing? Would I get two torpor fiends? Interesting. Well, another productive day. Except for the people that hate me. Fuck them. Got Surge Coil. So we can upgrade that? Um... 5 out of 5 or 3... Or 5 to 5 or 3 to 7. I think I want five to five. Let me look at my things again. 
Uh, bottom edge means that I should be two into three to seven. Test your beer. All right, it's day three. I think I'm gonna call it here. Uh, this has been hard to learn, so I'm taking this a lot slower than usual. Uh, I was hoping I could get a whole thing done in one stream, but we're only like halfway through the campaign. So I think I'm going to leave it here and I'll finish it next time. I have stuff I need to do. So thank you all for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. If a new game comes out, I want to stream it tomorrow. So I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.